Hey there, my name is Bert Karen from BridgeX. We are a European specialist in SAP success factors. And in this video, I will be showing you how to mask sensitive data with OnView rules in SAP success factors. Employee central. Let's have a look how that works. Most of the fields used to store employees data in SAP success factors, employee central are available via role-based permissions individually. This helps system administrators creating roles that target field level permission in most cases. For example, you allow managers to access their direct reports job information, but you hide the access to employees pay grade field. What about fields and sections that don't allow for field level permissions like biographical information or home address? Well, Role-based permission is not field level deep for some portlets like home address, biographical information and national uh, ID and so on. In fact, when we create our permission roles, we can only choose to allow access to the entire portlet or nothing at all. Well, here you can see as manager of Charles Brown, I can see his home address 590 Juniper Street. It's visible. So for these special cases, we can leverage OnView rules to mask specific fields without losing the access to other less sensitive data. So what are OnView rules? OnView rules are triggered when a user is viewing an employee's profile, whether it's about their own data or someone else's data. These rules can temporarily change the value while a logged in user is looking at it but the value is not stored in the database, so we don't have to worry about replacing data where it really matters to us. Well, creating a non-view rule for masking sensitive data, it's, it's quite simple. There are two steps. First of all, you need to create a new business rule. I'm about to create this new business rule, uh, which is called MSS hide address. It's an on-view rule type the the base uh, object is gonna be addresses um, addresses in this uh, case so let me find it yeah okay so once created we just need to set a condition uh, more specifically we need to check whether the logged in user is the supervisor of the employee and uh, we also have to assign the action which is replacing the sensitive data by something else by putting some asterisks or whatever so for these special cases we can leverage on view rules to mask specific fields without losing the access to other less sensitive data so what are on view rules on view rules are triggered when a user is viewing an employee's profile whether it's about their own data or someone else's data these rules can temporarily change the value while a logged in user is looking at it but the value is not stored in the database so we don't have to worry about replacing data where it really matters to us because the values are not stored but only replaced on view other users can still run reports and extract real unmasked values but be careful if you restrict the access to specific roles for instance managers and you give them the permission to run reports that include that data the advantage of masking the data is gone because the user will get the value via reporting even if they cannot see it on the screen in the portlet so the second step is to assign the rule to the address portlet in the data model once we have created our rule, we need to link it to our data model to make sure it will trigger when a specific action is performed. Note that we created the rule, added conditions, but we don't know yet when the rule is going to be triggered. Therefore, we need to navigate to the admin tools and manage the business configuration. In the objects, we have selected a home address and when scrolling down, we can set the trigger uh, to the on view business rule that we have just created so let's find the mss business rule to hide the address and just click uh, save and this concludes the, the second and, and last step to create an on view rule uh, for masking sensitive data in employee central 
How can we verify that? Well, let's uh, go back to the, the screen of the supervisor of uh, our employee, Charles Brown. So let me proxy again. It, I think it was Christine Dolan. Yeah, Christine Dolan. And uh, let's verify whether the sensitive uh, home address, the street name and so on, has been masked by something else, by the value I, I just set in the in the, the business rule, which was um, um, contained some asterisks and, uh, and uh, demo as a word. So let's scroll down now to the home address of the employee. Well, yeah, here you can see that we have uh, masked the sensitive data for this supervisor. All right, now you can take full advantage of the on-view triggers to mask data that might be sensitive. If you want to check out our other videos, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.